Good afternoon, Lip Bar Noel speaking. My name is Noel Santos and I am the proprietress of the Lip Bar. The Lit Bar is the only bookstore in the Bronx, a community of over 1.5 million people. And our mission is to give the community additional access to literature and create intellectual visibility in the Bronx. I am Noel Santos from the block, Afro-Latina from Soundview, resident of Katona Park. I was abandoned by our one big box bookshop all the way up in co-op that served our knowledge. We will not conform. We will expand horizons beyond pages and pick up where curriculums fail to engage us. Books were my window outside of my little five block radius, which many of my peers never expanded beyond. And that was my door to see other cultures, to gain empathy, to learn different topics, different subjects, and I just became addicted to that. Reading is my source of education, is my source of entertainment, and I just want to give that gift back to everybody else in the community. It's a travesty that not everybody has the same access to books the way I had. We used to have a Barnes & Noble up in the Northeast Bronx. But I wasn't satisfied with that, so I lit my life on fire, left my career, crowdfunded the money, and spent a year in construction to make this happen. Everything was a challenge while I was in it, and I'm so grateful to finally be on the other side of it. I'm a first-time business owner, first-time entrepreneur, and just the day-to-day -day and putting out fires all day, that's my job. The difference between a chain store and an indie bookstore is that because we don't have like that cookie cutter model, independent bookstores are able to actually reflect the communities that they operate in with their inventory, with their hiring, with their programming, with bringing authors into it and reacting to market changes quickly and to the conversations that are happening at that time. The Bronx is no longer burning except with desire to read. The media has highlighted a lot of the urban blight that happens in communities like this. And yes, there's still a lot of work to be done in this community, but it's not what the media depicts. This is a thriving community. We have amazing, hardworking families and cool things like the Lit Bar. The emotional response has been incredibly touching and heartwarming, just seeing people react to the space, seeing them seeing the youth respond to seeing themselves represented in their books, and it's just being a cool place to hang out. Everyone is really grateful, and I'm glad to have been the vessel to make this happen.